Okay, so a lot of people have been having trouble with various versions of Excel and different computers and stuff not working, especially for the histogram and box plot portions. So here's a workaround that's just fine for this assignment. Um, so here I have my data and, you know, this is obviously my computer is set up the way I know it. Um, so I can go in here and I can make a pivot table like for April, day here, year here, um, average of Tmax, and I can create box plots that look like this. This compares our maximum temperature for April's since 2000. I made this uh, for fun, if you can believe that. But, you know, if for whatever reason, maybe you don't have the box plot thing on the drop down or whatever, uh, just do something simpler. So let me show you what that might look like. So if I just go to my data, and suppose I want to do Tmax. So I grab that column, I copy it, and then I go over to um, our course. And under this first week of module content here, um, I had a thing about, or maybe it was in here, uh, technical difficulties with Excel box plots or histograms. Um, you know, make a box plot online. So I click that, it brings up this very simple little thing, and I paste from Excel. Um, I should click sample just because that's what we have. Um, now when I click submit data, you know, it gives me an error. Oh, I can only enter two to a thousand values. And clearly I have 20 years of data here, so I have more than that. Mine goes all the way up to 7,400. Okay, so forget it. I can't do all my data with that, but let's get a thousand. So if this goes to 6417, maybe I want the most recent thousand so I can just go up to 64, uh, 17 or 18, I guess, to have exactly a, a thousand. And then I can just go here, I can grab that. There, which one was Tmax, was it G? Well, I think it was this one, let's hope since, yeah, it looks like it since it's the highest. Go back here, reset that, go ahead and paste, submit data, goes ahead and makes my box plot for me. Um, exactly a thousand points. You know, if you grab 500 or 800, that's fine. Just, you know, tell me what time frame you're using. Um, and here's my box plot of the highest it was in Portland, the highest high and the highest low or the lowest high. Um, but either way, now I can just copy and paste this into um, some sort of a document. Um, there's some other uh, videos on or links on how to take a screenshot in Windows. Um, there's other ones on a Mac. If you're on Windows, they actually made it really easy lately. You hold down Shift and the Windows key and press S. And then you can just drag in, you know, click and drag a region. Automatically copies it to the clipboard. So whatever you want to paste it into, I could go straight here in Excel and I could even paste that image right into here. Um, you know, it doesn't do a title or axis label. So just make sure you write a sentence like the vertical axis in this box plot is degrees Fahrenheit. If your German spelling of words like that isn't so good, just put degrees F, everyone will understand what you mean. Um, so same thing with the histogram. If for some reason it's not working in Excel, just use those links. It says make comparison box plots, but if you can't get it done, just do this. I don't want anyone spending like, you know, 20 hours plumbing the depths of YouTube to try to find videos to do just one little thing. Um, yeah, and anything else, just let me know. I'm pretty flexible about this assignment. Just make sure you get a box plot in there, a histogram in there, and make sure your sentences are accurate.